welcome back to episode three of Champagne Hooligans. <laughs> How are we, fellas? Great, Steve. Killing that intro. Killing yeah. it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell I'm psyched up for it, or you can tell I'm faking it. <laughs> uh, how are the lads today this late monday monday a little too uh, late for a monday but yeah pretty pretty tired but still happy with uh with the weekend football wise brian did you have a, a good weekend watching uh newcastle no no nothing went well. well one thing went well let's start where it went well and we'll go downhill from there yeah uh, fan- fantasy back king of the pile no no you know but you're not king no. of the pile well, I'm not. I'm in our money league. I'm king. Yeah, of the but we're, this is the Champagne Hooligans podcast, not the money league podcast. So let's yeah. speak to the listeners. Where well, are you? Be- in before the we move to the Champagne Hooligans podcast, just a bone to pick with James Fox, who's like, who I made tap out of the money league this <laughs> year. Because, and, and I've made about four others tap out as well. It's the, we're down to about four people now in, the, in our money yeah, league. Yeah, I actually have an argument to that as well, but I'll well, let you continue. I on. put you. I put you in the the crippler crossface, James, and you're out for a season. And yeah, no, I'm on. You know, I I take a bit of pride. Like it's nice getting the money as well, but take a bit of pride in making people tap out. Like when you're that good. Um. So yeah. Okay, well, 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 let's, oh, let's actually. I'll, I'll, I'll wait until yeah. before Brian moves on there. Yeah. So um, it's it's funny, Brian, because like I wanted to try the draft, oh, you know, and it's draft, it's either yeah. Brian's way or the highway, and then I was like, I'm not asked to do this, like you know. Um, I've always got bigger things. Um, well, you know, Sheffield Wednesday this year put my a lot of attention and focus onto them as well, uh, rather than do the shitty fantasy. When the real fantasy, let's now let's be honest, and we can even ask our viewers, the real fantasy is the draft. And until yeah. we're ready to do the draft, then I'll put my time and effort into it because that's that's. I mean, look, it isn't fantasy football like over in the states and baseball? That's how it's meant to be done, right? Right. Yeah, Hillary it's argument. it's it's Hillary not the way that. Yeah, it's American a poor argument. argument. Eight eight million people play the the. the and the how many people play fantasy over in in America? I don't know, James. I don't. I'd say more than eight million numbers. I'd say I'd say well, you are a numbers guy, Brian. Like you, you like to say yeah. that quite a lot. So, um, yeah. No, so look, look, give me a call when you're going to do the draft again, work. and like we'll play with the big boys. But anyway, look, um, a shitty little league anyway, and um, yeah. put your time and effort into uh, that all day, every day, and uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah, and listeners, stay tuned for next week when Fox will go on about the fantasy draft again for the fourth episode in a row. It's actually the Fox, third episode, I, season two, episode three. Are you anyway. suggesting yeah. next, next not good next with the numbers again, Brian? Next week that, will be episode four, James. You, I just said this is the fourth episode. <laughs> no, I didn't. You, I said Brian. stay tuned for next week when you know for the fourth episode a, in a row. It's eleven o'clock in the evening oh, in Magaloof, he's, and he's, he's getting really ready by struggling. the minute. Like, he's really struggling, struggling. But, uh, mentally uh, and physically. <laughs> James, are oh. you just suggesting that you're you're not gonna you're not putting any effort into the cup of champ the the cup of the champagne hooligans league? Because I'll put like a bit of effort into that as well. Like, but in terms of the, the blue square, now I just I, I, I mean it's never, the same team for for both. But you know, I know. like it though. I like it. He's put effort <laughs> yeah. into, the, into that league, and not the other one. I like it. Yeah, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, from from there, uh, my my week took a bit of a tumble. Other than my call on uh, Demari or Demari Gray being signed near the season at one point six million, he was f- absolutely phenomenal against Leeds. A goal and was just playing them off the park, really. Uh, so that was good. But then after after that, it was it was a shambles. Newcastle uh, lost Villa. Wasn't like it could have gone either way. I'm not that concerned about it, even though I have my uh, and I can see Steve prepping some shit over here but yeah i um yeah look it could have gone either way just like a few bounces to the ball went against us um like callum wilson barely offside for a penalty if that was that, that if the was penalty shocking because that i thought we were getting the benefit of the day for those kind of things and that was i guess there's always yeah. going to be a line but like yeah exactly uh but yeah so I, I don't really complain about that but the other one the handball like if that was kicked instead of headed there's no way it would be a penalty it's from two and a half feet away like we just we just haven't had the benefit of the doubt and then Callum Wilson in the in the first five minutes missed like a one-on-one opportunity when there was like ahead of like 20 20 yards ahead of any defender um and just blazed it wide um when he just Martinez to beat so yeah a few like and fucking hell the defending like I don't know did anyone see did you get see Danny Ings overhead kick 
Yes, excellent. It was it was brilliant finish, but it's a long throw into. It's not as if it's a cross and you've only got your center box in the uh, center backs in the box. Like you have basically your whole eleven in the box, and it's a long throw in. And somehow he has the space to do an overhead kick with your whole fucking team in the box. <laughs> it's just shocking. So yeah, uh, but yeah, so not a good week, Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, and just a bit of context in that as well. Uh, yeah. You have bet with the only Villa fan we knew. And we know and will know probably for the rest of our lives um, yeah. that Newcastle are going to finish ahead of Aston Villa. Um, yeah, I think Newcastle could go down. And you also were pretty adamant on episode two that Villa's team was crap. I think I mentioned Matt yeah. Cash and you said, no, he's crap. And then I went through a couple of other yeah, players. He, 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 played, he played very well against Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, not like, Ashley it's, Young was... it's not like the O'Keefe to be negative. No, 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 no. Just no. to be it... annoying, just to be annoying though. So uh, Hank Hanlon, the, the person who is on the other side of that bed, would like to know yeah. that Villa were also missing Watkins, Bailey, Trory, yeah. Trory and Sansom. Um, a and the fuck is the last team one? And st- don't know. I'm still comfortably one. Yeah. Uh, don't let O'Keefe say any different on the pod. Cash was class. Cash was class, which should be yeah, highlighted to him, as you call him shit. Good. Villa so far he from the best shit. team, still won 2-0. That was a full-strength Newcastle there, eleven, and that's from Brian. That, that, they were missing two players, because the, the three players he named at the start, they can only fit two of those into the starting lineup. Our drop. The overhead kick magician Danny Ings. So they're missing two players. Um, and it was my favorite 11, but it's not Steve Bruce's favorite 11. Okay. Um, so, so it'll be interesting. Uh, it'll certainly be interesting to see if, if, if Newcastle can manage to finish above Villa because it doesn't seem like they will. Yeah, Villa were, Villa aren't good. They're not good. Like I, I, I'm still confident having watched that game. Like it, it could bounce the ball, and Newcastle win that game. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's not. It wasn't a. It was a penalty and like a fucking ridiculous overhead kick. We missed a ton of chances. But yeah, other than that, my football week. What else? Um, we can get yeah, into your gambling. Uh, we can get into your bets when we get to the betting section. So don't. Oh spoil that God, for the I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't even want to get into that. Um, oh, but yeah, what about Paul? What about I know in America they always talk about players in their contract year. You know, yeah. they, they turn it on the contract year. Paul Pogba. Yeah. Like he just turned. He's yeah. Five assists, two games. Just turn it on his contract year. He's going to be terrible next year if he even stays or wherever he goes. He's going to be terrible. Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, I just that that contract year stuff. You never hear yeah. it in with 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 football. I was listening to another sports pod, and the host made a good point, saying that the best possible scenario for United is that they don't sign Pogba on for an extra year, but they they just decide to keep him and lose him on a free, so that. So he'll be playing for his contract with PSG. Um, United don't sign him up on a 500, 600K because he wants to be the best play, play player in the yeah. in the league. Um, don't yeah, go to yeah. get to, into it's a Sanchez ridiculous. problem there where they where they get screwed over and then just ship made at the end of the year and, and ship someone else in and hopefully yeah. wins it. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And anyone who signs him should just go year to year with them because... Uh, yeah. yeah. Like Bielsa. Five... Bielsa does yeah, year to year yeah. contracts at least. It's quality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um should get rid of him. Like should get rid of him. Uh yeah, they should. They should. Like he won't be as good. You know, and we're we're losing our shit after two games as well. Um and United didn't even win the second. But uh Arsenal, Arsenal gonna be 0 3 next weekend. Traveling City. And yeah. Arteta just signed a new contract. Yeah. So uh yeah, Arsenal fan TV is gonna be much watch stuff. For the next couple of weeks. Oh, yeah, there's, that, now, I, there, there, there's that dude who's in the car. He's quite funny. Yes, I, that's what I was yeah. going to say. I think, yeah, the, I think the first one he actually did put on was amazing. Now he's obviously just doing it because you know, yeah, for but, the camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he knows it's obviously popular, yeah. like, but yeah, um, Arsenal. But they, they weren't that bad. Uh, they never looked like winning. They yeah. never they looked know. like winning. I'll agree with that, but they definitely could have scored a couple of goals. It could have been like 5-2. Yeah. I mean, I, like, they're going to go 0-3, and, and I think it's the first time since, like, the 60s or something I was hearing on Sky Sports News today. But yeah. the team they're playing at the moment is nowhere near their full-strength team. Now, I don't necessarily think their full-strength team is that good, but, like, you know, a fit Lacazette is better yeah. than what they have. Ben White yeah. is obviously better than what they have. Like, your man Partey is better than what they have. Odengard is probably better than what they have, even though Smith Rowe's class, you know. So there's plenty. Yeah, I like Smith Rowe. There's plenty yeah. of players come in, but they still they're mid. They're absolutely mid table. Like I think, I think scrape top ten. 
Yeah, that's oh. that's where they are now. And like, honestly, it's so hilarious about how crap they are. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> I saw it today as well. It's kind of like, God, maybe maybe we were wrong about Wenger. Maybe he was just holding the ship so well. Um, and obviously, Arsenal fans complaining that he was only getting fourth every year. Yeah, yeah. When was last time Arsenal yeah. in the Champions League? Must be like five, six years ago now. Is it that long? Wow. What, four, definitely four years. Yeah. Holy they, shit, they, that's they, crazy. They need a Shane Duffy in there. You know, they need a Shane uh, Duffy what in there. A oh, header. Oh, what a, and Shane Duffy's back on fire. Unbelievable <laughs> header. Yeah, yeah was, was honestly good. a brilliant header. How, was, many uh, points are, how many points are Brighton on? Uh, six. Brighton six. Two yeah. wins from six. two. Exactly, exactly. And Arsenal will... Yeah, no, it, it's very disappointing, to be honest. Like, that was, as, I, as I've said to Eddie the Ed, I mean, jeez. How the tables have turned. I'd rather be supporting Sheffield Wednesday than Arsenal because it's just horrendous. Uh, well, which is scraping the bottom of the barrel with both there. Yeah, well, I think I'd well, still pick Top Arsenal. of the league, you mean, Brian? Top of the league, which we'll, which we'll get onto. <laughs> well, go go ahead, James. <laughs> Actually, quite quite the football week. A lot of drama um, on my own pitch and also the Sheffield Wednesday pitch, which I'll, uh, I'll start with Sheffield Wednesday. Um, Always tough going to the New York Stadium, which is, of course, is the home of Rotherham. Um, Rotherham just don't like to play football. And uh, they can't score. But uh, only 10 miles apart from uh, Sheffield and Rotherham. Well. Yeah. 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 So, you... Does uh, Ladapo still play for Rotherham? Yep. Didn't what actually. I don't man. think he actually played, actually. Jesus, you snuck that one by us. Had we known that, yeah. we would have built up to that game like it was like Super Sunday. Yeah. No, I don't know. I yeah, I uh, yeah. I yeah, well, actually, I won't say that, and I'll repeat that later on. Actually, um, yeah, two nil. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, two nil. You know, top of the league. This is what it feels like to be winning again. Um, still not going to get carried away because. I uh, mind you, the odds on Sheffield Wednesday the whole time are great. League one, league two, that's where you get your value. Um, but yeah, not gonna get too carried away. Uh we have a big game tomorrow night. Bet you the O'Keefe doesn't know. I do um, not EFL Cup. No, we're out of that. <laughs> um, we're in like the fucking LDV vans now, whatever it's called. But uh we are playing the Papa in- John's. Papa John's, that's what it is actually. The Papa John's. Yeah, <laughs> we're playing. Uh, we're playing the Newcastle under twenty ones. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, no. I think under twenty threes. I think under twenty three. Sorry, I think it's. I think yeah. it's next week actually. So, um, oh yeah, it is oh, next week actually. I, we'll have to build I'll that have one up. To watch that. Yeah, 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 I'm looking forward to that. Should have been going. Yeah, big game, big game. Um, so that was good anyway. Um, my own football. Um, played a final on Sunday. Um. A lot of drama in this game. Um, basically, um, started on the bench. Wasn't too happy about that after starting the semi-final, but these no things happen. Squad performance. Um, <laughs> thanks, Steve. Um, but you must have played badly in the semi-final to be dropped for the final, no? That's pretty odd. much so, yeah. Maybe so. But uh, we did win on penalties anyway. But anyway, squad. Look, when you get into my age, you know, I mean, at least I'm playing uh, some shitty football on a Tuesday on you know, 7th side with... Uh, <laughs> I think he's getting a getting a thirty second audio of how good he is on a seven side pitch and banging. Well, the goals. listen, I was pretty uh, good. <laughs> but anyway, now look, um, well, I'm obviously going to be missing most of the season now. Obviously, going away to Portugal, um, but uh, so we're two one down going into the ninetieth minute, and obviously, you know, JJ Foxamore is always in the manager's ear, going, "Look, put me up front, put me up front," and uh, we get a corner kick in the ninetieth minute. Obviously, I go up, calls me. I actually, it was actually really weird. The manager looked at me, and I looked at him. And I got like, got to put us on, got, got to put me on, right? So anyway, um, get onto the pitch, sprint on, crowd goes mental, obviously. Um, corner comes in, bit of a scramble, <laughs> hits off James, back in the net. It's like Jack Grealish. So, yeah, so, one body part. So, except, except uh, left foot, cost left, million. Le- left foot, left foot, and you know, Lenny. You know, at this stage, you should know I'm both footers. Yeah, but um, it hit off your left foot, is what you're saying. Uh, well, no, I, I, no, I passed it into the net anyway. Yeah. Um, so that's grand anyway, and then um, so obviously it was um, it was final, and last week, sorry, we we well, we were five one down and got to five all, and it went straight to penalties, no extra time. So anyway, that would have been like in the ninety first minute. Um, Rahini, who we were playing, 
Springfield v Shelbyville, as they like to call the derby. Uh, they tip off. Don't know what happened, but all I remember then is Rahini fucking scoring straight away from tip off. <laughs> and it was 3 2 to Rahini. Final whistle done. Were you, were you still celebrating at the corner flag? Did exactly. You were you playing centre back? Well, or that would have been or... offside then, guys. You know, you can't tip off a game, but look, I know I have to explain the rules of football. It's not like seven aside and Brian, well. But James, you know. I, I presumably after you scored your, your equaliser, you get back into a normal kind of shape where you're at the back again, or are you staying yeah. up front to try and get that winner? Are you? Is well, I was happened? looking for a winner, you know me. I could, <laughs> to be honest, uh, it was it was it was one of those things. I was even just thinking this morning about it. It was all like I actually I was actually I was actually buzzing, obviously just coming on first touch, going in, uh, hitting hitting the goal, like and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a story of my career. Uh, it was it was very short lived, and um, back to reality, right. losing three two. But it was good. It was actually good. We had there was a lot of people watching the game and stuff. Um, but yeah, whatever keeps you fit and going. It can never have the perfect weekend, you know. Sheffield Wednesday winning and then winning your own did, game as well. You had that last. Did weekend, you not though? just have one last week? Oh, that's yeah. true. Actually, yeah, but yeah. not winning. Uh, we drew. We drew last week and then onto the penalties. Like, you know, a, a comprehensive ah. win for Clontarf and a comprehensive win. Uh, for Chef Wednesday, never, never, never a dull moment. Very, very, very enjoyable. That that should be the quote on James's T-shirt. Never a dull moment. I think it's his favorite thing to say. That's my life, Brian. You know, it is. And Steve, uh, oh, this is going to be tough to listen to, it, but yeah. Well, listen, um, I had, a, I had a good week. I had a good week. Um, obviously. Crowned off by a great win for Chelsea against Arsenal. A um, couple of points on that game, I would say. Brian, I think Lukaku's crap. Uh, yeah. I was quite adamant about how crap he is over the last couple still of months. You're still adamant, despite the fact. What's, how many, what's, the, what's the goals again we're looking at? Uh, 14 uh, and a half. He has to get 16. It was 15 and a half, Steve. 15 oh, he has to get half. 16 Premier League goals. He has to get 16. Could have that, yeah. could have that by... He'll he'll have a couple because he's going to play every game. <laughs> yeah. Um. To be fair, like it actually looks like a like a, a a cheat code if you're able to do that. Now Arsenal did not defend it, but like the way you can just pass it straight <laughs> to his feet and he just holds off the players, <laughs> like swats them off. Um, yeah, yeah. But like pa- Pablo Mari, like come on, like next week he's got Van Dijk and Van Dijk's gonna have him as his little gimp. That, like it's that's yeah, gonna be class to watch. Yeah, no, it would be yeah, but Van Dijk's going to kill him. Like, he's uh, Pablo Mari. Like, the first, the you said Pablo Mari played fell. well last week. He did. He did play well against Brentford, but, like, come on. Like, it was a joke. It was like it was like a well, little the, comic yeah. book nerd up against, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. No, you, you can tell also that's the problem there. Like, he's he's the Arsenal hard man. Who? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's the Arsenal hard man, and that's... that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mari. Saying a lot, like. like, and no, no other Premier League teams have that those like weak, weak, like you know, just weaklings in at centre back <laughs> that are uh, bullied by yeah. Lukaku. And I, I love the way like everyone's building him up. Like BBC Sky Sports lost their mind about Lukaku, and they're just building him up for the fall. And the fall is going to be great. I was actually loving it and when they're all losing. I was like, this is awesome because they love it. Like, and he'll, 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 I don't know, miss miss an open goal, and then he'll go on like a five or six game. Streak of not scoring. Yeah, I, just, I don't see that happening. Don't see. It. I just. And that's just Joe Keith being negative done. as always. Like, but I, I hope he does well. I think he will do very well. Actually, you know what? The other cool thing about him is like the way he talks is like he's engaging. He's not just a boring footballer. Like he's like he actually seems like he thinks about stuff and like just the way he drove. Uh, like he tweeted this morning. Drogba said it, sent a tweet, and then uh, he retweeted and goes, "Make sure to call me back." Um, which I was just like, "That's cool because they're best friends, and I love them both." Um, <laughs> <laughs> such a fucking loser. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like in terms of like, they're, they're so clinical, Chelsea. Like they look, yeah, they look, yeah, they do yeah, look the real. Good. They look the real deal. Now I know mine. Play, well, obviously every every pitch in the Premiership is like a carpet, but the Emirates is. It just looks even that little bit more special. Like they just zip the ball around. It looks yeah, so Kino good. You know, did make a good point about the, uh, the ability of like good players just to zip it, like Mason Mount to zip that pass to to Reese James. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just opens up. It's like it's like 
we have all we had all these different like triangles and like runs that we were making last year and now we just have the last bit that we didn't have which was that straight ball you know and, and we can just play yeah. off it so it'll be interesting to see i fancy i fancy Werner will get a run out next week to um maybe it's the Havertz to stretch them behind like he, like we did last year um but it's gonna be an unbelievable game so yeah yeah, yeah. we'll see do, do you fancy chelsea i fancy liverpool there I think, I've actually I think, fancy draw there. You fancy draw Where there. Dan? Anfield. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think Liverpool are a good price, though, aren't they? 29 to 20, I think, on Paddy Power. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think under 2.5 goals would be a good bet as well. I think it's going to be Yeah, that's, that's the other thing. Like, Chelsea, seriously, good defence. Um, and, so, and so did Liverpool, to be fair. I don't know. I saw a lot of chances. Yeah, they had one that they should have scored, that header. Um, yeah, and then they had the one that went past Smith throw and he just tried to flick his leg at it it was like a yard from the line yeah but like look at our look at the record over the last since Tuchel come in like like literally Mendy has the most amount of clean sheets like out of anyone since that time um, yeah, yeah, yeah. because the Danish Maldini has, is incredible oh my like god that's the other thing. We need to get the Danish Maldini signed up for five, six years because he's on the last year of his contract. And oh, is Milan, he? Milan are going to come looking for the Danish Maldini, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so we'll see. Um, the other good part of the weekend is when Man United don't win. Uh, so that was very enjoyable. And yeah. I will say that my signing of the season looks pretty good at the moment. Lieberamento absolutely ripping up the right-hand side of, uh, of the pitch for, for Southampton the last two games. So Yeah, he looked pretty good. He'll be one to watch. Another right back. I don't know. It's, I'm still worried about Southampton. Like you just. No, I don't. Oh, think no. He, yeah. No, yeah, I am. Like they, it's obvious. It's it's easy to get up to play United and press and like work hard, but uh, like Armstrong, that guy was. Oh, what away. a miss! Uh, and two of them. The header. Uh, the header at the far post. Yeah, as well the, as the, the one before the, that was. Yeah. Come as well on. as the left footer straight into here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like yeah. It's Southampton won, but uh, no, like I I do think they're in trouble. I think they're shot. Yeah, yeah, um, not much going on there. And then what? The final thing. I, goddamn, I missed those seven o'clock kickoffs on a Sunday. I have to say. I mean, yeah, um, bloody hell, COVID. I mean, you you gave us so much footballing wise, and that's all been taken away. Like, leave yeah. one game for seven o'clock. Yeah. Do I'd it, rather, like, I'd rather, yeah, like you could even do a two o'clock and then a seven o'clock because the four o'clock, it's such a sad point of the day. It's like, well, it's six the end o'clock of the now. Weekend. The weekend is over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Wolves and Spurs played it at the same time as uh, United and Southampton. Like, yeah. what the fuck is that about? I would have watched, exactly. watched that if it was before or after. Yeah, uh, it's not a fucking two. Sunday as well. It's not yeah, as if exactly. there's loads of games on that you're obviously going to have one. Like, it, like, what difference does it have that on a 12 o'clock on a Sunday and then exactly. have the United game at a two? But like, not having a seven o'clock That's kickoff is a pain. But what it has done is pushed me towards Serie A and La Liga because La Liga yes. has a game at nine o'clock. And it's usually Real Madrid, and Real Madrid are box office this season because they're having they've got Bale, Benzema, and Hazard up front. So like <laughs> three of the most undefensive, untrackable yeah. wingers you're ever going to likely see. And then they have a crap defense. Um, yeah. that's and the lads one actually played this year as well. <laughs> huh? The lads one actually played this year as well, Fanchelotti. Yeah. So three all yeah. draw last night. Uh, one of the best goals, honestly, I've ever seen from Granada. It's like a, it was like a volley. From like a ball right across the pitch, um, and then yeah, and then the last thing I'll say is I also watched some Serie A, which I think could be pretty box office this year. With just seems to be a lot of storylines like Mourinho, Tammy Abraham, obviously from Chelsea's point of view, Ronaldo, like Chiesa was on the bench as well. I was like, I think maybe the fact that Italy won the the thing just adds a little bit of spice to that, or you just know yeah. a few more of the players. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was it. It's a, it's a bloody long week waiting for the weekend as well. That's the other problem. Like, do you know? Yeah. <laughs> Miss yeah. the Sunday game. Stick one on on Tuesday or Wednesday as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I was actually looking at the Real Mallorca uh, schedule because it's literally like 15 minutes away and they're back in the Liga now. Are they back so, in the Liga? Yeah, they, they, they promoted last season. Oh, so, that's a bloody... That's a bloody... Uh, that's, a that's a reason to go visit. That's a trip to <laughs> yeah. Mallorca. If you so, get, a, get some dates. They've got Villarreal in September at home at some point, you know, Champions of Europe. Uh, not the good European competition, but the other yeah. one. And, the winners, don't. Uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, they have, I think, Real Madrid at the start of January and what day in Barca January? in March. But who knows what else will be here. It's like the 2nd of January or something, Real. And Barca in March. So uh, potentially Champagne Hooligans, little 
people go to around New York. It's a great jersey as well. And the, the you obviously get Edo on the back because you've never heard of any other players ever played for them. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, and it's a decent stadium and it looks at yeah, I drive by it quite a bit. It looks like a decent stadium. Yeah, definitely up for that. Could be, I mean, yeah. Sheffield yeah. Wednesday v Bolton, Real v <laughs> Mallorca. Yeah. In for a good PSG, time this year. Yeah, in for a Paris good time this year. PSG as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, I don't actually remember that. Yeah. But now he's had a flashback. <laughs> West Ham beat Leicester 4 1, and Antonio got two goals and assists. Yeah, so that's probably good O'Keefe stuff. back up top of the table now. Yeah, because that's six points for Cresswell, might be gone as well. So that's interesting. Um, interesting. I think that moves us nicely on to the betting section. Okay, so on to the betting section. I must say, I'm getting a chuckle immediately from the betting section by looking at the league table and somehow Fox is still in the green. Uh, hey, I came very close. I came very close again at the weekend. Just with, I'm telling you, it's going to be a good season. League one, league two. Championship yeah. is too hard. Um, I thought I would be doing better, but anyway, we will get on to it. Um, so, Brian, um, only one place to start, really. Actually, there's two places to start. <laughs> um, but we'll start with you uh, because again, yeah. you would expect something better off you, whereas with James... I- yeah, yeah. Well, 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 well like the week. <laughs> Not anymore, James. No, Not nowhere anymore. near it. Um, <laughs> uh, so- yeah, it's me, me and you scraping the bottom of the barrel here, James. Yeah. Um, well, I know. So, yeah. James is scraping the bottom. You've drilled down through the bottom into the uh, ground underneath. <laughs> the earth. Um, yeah. So, I'd watch for it to beat Brighton. You know, all my reasons are good, but Brighton, like, well deserved to win that. Like only won four games last year at the Amex, but it looks like they're going to win a lot more this year. Uh then you know I score penalties. You know, didn't even come close to getting the penalty. It just it looked good. Um Liverpool over 4.5 against Burnley. This is probably the biggest, the biggest annoyance because Liverpool could easily have gotten five goals in that game. It's, it's a tough loss. It's a tough loss for a big loser. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm still happy. I like if I was looking at it again, I'm happy the bets. Like I think I'm going the right strategy. I mean, I can't really. have like, what is the strategy? Yeah, yeah, you lose yeah, all your bets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, in the red, Brian. So I don't know if that's the right. That's unorthodox. <laughs> well, let's see yeah. if it works out. <clears throat> so I, oh. I, I, you know, I, you know, it's why I went fancy every year. I think a bit different to you guys. I'm not like results orientated. If I'm anyone's looking for financial I'm, advice, I'm, please get I'm on to Brian O'Keefe. I'm performance oriented. <laughs> So um, the performance yeah, isn't look, very good. Yeah, uh. look, it's uh, it's not results based. Whereas you guys are very, very knee jerk to whatever happens with the result. Like if you guys had watched the Villa Newcastle game at the weekend, I'm sure I would have got a lot more shit. But like it was easy could have gone either way. So yeah, you know, I'm I'm calm. I'm cool, calm, and collected over here in Mallorca. Right. Um. So yeah. So and like I can't. No one can get as lucky as fucking Steve Lennon. He's got. He's had like six bets and two of the games. There's been a sending off in the first half. Like like for him. Like against. It sounds the, like like you sour, cannot get that lucky. Red. You cannot get, grapes. No, can't get that lucky, Steve. Like two red cards in the first half in your favor is unbelievable luck. That's better, like that's not even that's worse. That's better luck than James Fox last week in the traveling. Which is the second red card you're talking about? I know the one in the West Ham game. So the tr- the the Claremont game last week. Oh right, right. Yeah. Well, fair play, you're keeping an eye on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. First half, 33 minutes. Did you actually watch the game, Brian? <laughs> no, I didn't. I checked on Google. I was like fuming. I was like, absolutely fuming. Yeah. Interesting. Um. Yeah, so I had West Ham to beat Le- Leicester. That game is just finished 4-1. One of Brian's jammy red cards there he's talking about, even though they're already 1-0 up at that stage. Um, and they looked like winning, and that was the most deserved red card you're ever going to see. Then, I don't know what... Sorry, then the next one I had... I thought I had 20 on this, because it seems stupid to put 20 on the one that came after this, but we'll just have to go with this. Um, Chelsea halftime, full-time, 15 to 8, 10 euros... Another winner for Steve. Um, yeah, that was such a good bet. That was yeah. the best bet of the week. As soon as I saw it, I knew like it's like that is just money in the bank. Yeah, and I like money in the bank. Unlike you, Brian, <laughs> who likes money in the hole in the in the in the ground. Um, and then the last one was stupid. I can't believe I must have just been under pressure. Ah. I can't believe I put twenty euros on it. I really think it was ten. Um, I'll have to go back and listen to that pod again. Um, but anyway, Firmino, anytime he. Didn't even come on until like the 75th minute. Um, He's not shy, but... 
any shite. So it's, I just threw 20 years in the bin there, but thank God I did. Um, I suppose to keep this in any way interesting going into week three. Um, and why is it not interesting? James, can you go through your bets, please? Yeah, so got a bit ahead of myself just with the old Akers here because, you know, I've been saying this for ages. You just got to stick to the trebles and got a bit kind of, I suppose, trigger happy on the old app and you see those odds shooting up and you're like, well, like, I'm obviously going to win this now and I do it every week. Uh, so, yeah, um, Portsmouth Wednesday, Sunderland, Brighton, Brentford. It's a bit disappointing with Brentford. I thought they would have done a little bit better against Crystal Palace. Um, I was watching Gillette Soccer Saturday. It didn't seem like it was a very good game. I think Clinton Morrison was covering it. Um, you know, well, Wednesday Brentford won- were the better team in that game as well, James. Like Brentford were way better than Palace. Yeah, but still, it was nil nil. There was nothing like. You know where you're putting that in an accurate later. Brentford oh, and I mean, I don't want to cut into James, but when he brings up a nil nil, and having last week mentioned that his brother. Uh, what was the change of thousands? Don't get on my nose. <laughs> like, uh, he put it, uh, there was a bet on no nil nil draws in the Premier season. season. The whole season. That's how, Paddy Paddy one. That's, that's how yeah. Paddy Power gets you. Yeah, move into it. Not even full of, all the way through week two. Bet still. Yeah. And Wait, Paddy Power don't get you like that. In fact, I doubt Paddy Power have gotten anyone apart from Ed Fox, maybe. <laughs> I'd say they've got a few people. Mind you, my brother, what he bets on is ridiculous. It's like four corners, two free kicks. Those bet builders, but um, so I, I did look into the statistics on it, and of course yeah, you did. there was there was thirty nil uh, nil draws in the Premier League from three hundred eighty games last season. So um, yeah, I think last week we we had a bit of a guess. I can't remember what we guessed ten nine, or fifteen. Nine, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. This thirty. So yeah, Ed Fox. I mean, the Fox brothers are just the world's worst gamblers. Well, Brian, if I'm looking at this league correctly, and I think I am, <laughs> you m- minus. Oh, right. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll get to the league table after we. Yeah. Uh, you guys like, your, 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 your two other. And Brian, <laughs> look, I've mentioned this. I'll mention it again. He loves the numbers. He's not good at the numbers, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, uh, West Brom, Cardiff, and Middlesbrough. Um, and then the other one was completely gone. Um. I put West Brom in twice, but again, there are different fixtures. Um, so again, the next week's fixture, fixtures are just a satellite one. So good, a little, a little simpler. Um, the odds already. Well, I, again, I was pushed for bit. time this week as well. Like, but yeah. well, maybe that's is. the way to do it. Maybe you need to be pushed for time because if you're coming out with seventy six to one, um, well, yeah, someone's got to win. That's unlikely. That's got to. <laughs> someone's got to win. As you can see, by an unlikely chance of winning. It's that. not the lottery, James. Someone's, someone's, <laughs> someone's, someone's, someone's got to win. We're not forcing you. To Some, do someone's got to win. Look, let's just see it's the league a, table uh, after. Uh, let's see the league table at Christmas. I know I am going to get a seven hundred and sixty to one shot in, and right. it's going to be like boom, boom, boom. That would break your heart, though, because it would be such a waste to have it in a in a league with fake money. Um, well. Um, that's why, well, mind you, I had a lot of bets on, on Saturday, actually, as well. Actually, yeah. uh, who let me down for 240 quid? Bournemouth let me down, actually. They drew 2-2. Two, two Sorry, with... do you know, just on that, if you get let down by one in an ACA, and if there's a good story to it, uh, Paddy Power are doing this thing with the Off The Ball Sports Podcast called, it's called, like, Missed, Just Missed, and you tweet into them, and you show are them... Are you shaming me? Yeah, you show them your ACA, and then you... I was actually, I was just so hung over in the car on the way back in Cork, I couldn't even muster up the ability to... Uh, that- Send you text about it, but yeah. So if that happens well, again, hey, look, and they're paying yeah. down, um, interesting. Okay, so uh, the league table currently stands uh, at Steve Lennon at the top, which I think anyone and everyone would have expected, with a profit of seventy-eight euro seventy-five cents. James Fox coming in second place, also with the profit of eleven euro sixty cents, and Brian Euro Brian O'Keefe, as is no surprise because he lives in the red. Um, <laughs> he's in the red. Uh, at minus five hey, euros. Matches that face of his as well. So yeah, hey. exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, no, I've aircon going now, so face face is. It's not working on the face, though. It's not working on the face. <laughs> it's the lighting. It's the well, lighting. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. So as we move into game week three, Brian is already quite a distance behind me. Um, so I wonder is he going for some scoreboard pressure um, this weekend? 
I had so was, I think City Arsenal is the first game yeah. it, this week, and yeah. I had I had over three point five City goals in that game yeah. at three to one, and I took it out. I just uh, I'm not a sore pressure guy. That's your game, Steve. <laughs> it's I'm com- working for you. I'm, I'm comeback king. That's always like fan- whether it's fantasy or like in the bed or whatever. I'm a comeback king. So I'm going to leave you leave you get ahead to any scoreboard pressure if you do. Um, no, I'm going Brentford to beat Villa in Birmingham. I, I obviously watched Villa game playing Newcastle. They're, they're just not great. I think all the same players are still injured that our good friend and cunt of the year, Hank, was talking about. Um, and so, yeah, Brentford. And they Brentford have been, well, they're probably – were they the best team against Arsenal? They certainly were the best team against Palace. Um, so yeah, I like that 11 to 4. See how it goes. I'll probably think that'll be a nil all. I'm just hoping Brentford will nick a goal. Then second bet, Newcastle versus Southampton over 3.5 goals. Um, yeah, like if if you watched any like Southampton the last day, there could easily have been you know loads of goals and same with Newcastle. So a 15 to 8 for over 3.5 is I think pretty good value. So I put 20 on both of those two bets. And then my kind of long shot of the week, uh, Wolves to beat Man United in Molyneux. Uh, again, Wolves are better, be- better team against Spurs. They were better team against Leicester in game week one. They've lost both those games. Um, and I just think United, um, yeah, they could easily lose. I, th- I think Wolves have a great record against United as well, don't they? Now that was under Nuno, but... Yeah, I'd love I just think it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see just, it. Yeah, just think four to one, it's worth the tenner. So yeah. the three have gone. The only problem is uh, Raul Jimenez. They just have no one to score goals. That was their problem, um, and it just seems difficult for him to to ever get back to what he was. But let's hope so. Yeah. Um, interesting, Brian. Best of luck with the Wolves United game. I would give you that win if I could. Um, yeah. You'd still be miles behind me, so that would be fine. Um. <laughs> Moving on to me. So I am actually going to take uh, Brighton to beat Everton. Um, 20 quid on that at 13 to 10. Odds are not huge for that. I just think Brighton look real good this year. Lamptey is back in training. Um, and obviously they've got, you know, Trossard and um, Mope and also that guy McAllister getting some good fantasy points anyway. Um, now, I believe uh, you I, gave Shane me Duffy. Shane shit Duffy. about 13 to 10 in game week one yeah that is pretty short you, actually. you were you were giving me a lot of shit sorry uh, anything over evens we've always said is is fine oh well you specifically didn't say um you well gave you me got a lot of shit for my 13 to 10 well, shots for spurs man city yeah that was, no, that was yeah, such a big win know. for you that was a 10 year hip, hypocrite lennon is um, what we'll well, that, to be fair now, that is just very bad values, you know, um, really for Brighton to beat Everton. But listen, I'm going to take it. 20 quid. You only put a tenner on it as well. So that's different. Yeah. I mean, 10 euro at 30 to 10 to win 13 euro is not going to get it done, Brian. Um, yeah, look. Uh, you're stat padding your wins, Colleen, there, but it's not translating <laughs> into actual uh, scoreboard pressure at all. Um, so that's the first one. The next one, I have West Ham halftime full time. They're playing Crystal Palace. Seven to five. West Ham look bloody, bloody good. Like their team on paper now is actually class. Antonio, uh, Jared Bowen is class. Ben Arima is class. Declan Rice, Suchek, all class. Uh, Agbon at the back. Your man Craig Dawson's been good. Obviously the wing backs. Then like there's, there's yeah, just that's a good, good team West now. Ham. Um, and the atmosphere in in the yeah. Olympic Stadium was class tonight. So yeah, that, that. but but that it that one of the points they made even during the COVID days. So like yeah, when things are going well, it's unbelievable. Obviously, you know they're pretty yeah, intimidating. They're blown bubbles. They're blown bubbles. Yeah, no, but they they obviously it's it's going really well for the players. But if things go like in any way negative, fans really get like really stuck into yeah. them, and that's when they start shitting themselves. So well, that's why you got to ride the wave. You got to ride the wave. <laughs> get up. Get up high enough, far enough away from the O'Keefe, and then uh, then let them. And I actually, I want them to be good now because I they, I don't see them playing Chelsea anymore. But you want them to win the bet, and I want them to win at the weekend, yeah. yeah. And then finally, I am going for a Liverpool Chelsea draw nine to four. Obviously, I want Chelsea to win this game. Uh, so this is a bit of an emotional hedge, even though it really would make the loss even doubly worse. Um, but I just think I could see them cancel each other out. Like it's hard to go. To, it's going to be hard to go and win at Liverpool. Um, but Chelsea have been so good with Tuchel in the big games, both home and away. 
He's beaten Klopp. He's beaten them all. Drogba, Van Dijk could be box office, but they could they could just end up just wrestling all game and nothing much happening. Um, and yeah, nine to four, I think is good value. All the draws are just not don't seem to be the flavor of the of this this Premier League season at all. Um, no, but like how boring, Steve. Thirteen to ten, barely over evens, yeah. barely over evens, and then smallest bet, barely over two to one. I, I, what's the idea of this uh, of this segment? Is it to entertain? Speechless. Brian? Speechless. Is it yeah. so? Would you prefer if I yeah, did a tr- a treble with uh, all of the teams in League One? Um, I, 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 I would, boring. I would, I would. Uh, no, uh, to be honest, if I lose these bets this week, it'll be Treble City from now <laughs> on to try and catch up. So I can't really. I'm, 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 I'm putting that putting that on the on the table very early, so you're aware. So I don't get the slagging next week. James, uh, speaking of Treble City. Uh, well, look yeah. at the president of Travel City here. What have you got to say this weekend? So, <sighs> got to put Chef Wednesday in there because they look unstoppable at the moment. <laughs> um, playing some fantastic football. Um, so, yeah, no, um, Chef Wednesday. Portsmouth actually, I think they drew at the, at the weekend. And I'm putting Sunderland in there, who are my bogey team. Um, you'll laugh at this. Sunderland raised their game for the bigger teams who they're playing. Playing Wigan, so uh, you know play, I think I've, I find when some of them are playing like the likes of Gillingham or Morecambe, obviously it's the biggest game that they're going to play of their season. But like Wigan, Sunderland, it, 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 I think they'll win anyway. Uh, so that's a little traveller, um, and then the other traveller is Forest Green, who are actually very very good this season. Um, kind of one of my teams I always put in my actors anyway. Cardiff, Mick McCarthy was a bit unfortunate at the weekend, and Fulham are going back up to the Premiership, so. Um, yeah. Interesting. You you, yeah. you you seem to have a number of teams that are popping up uh, kind of all the time in your trebles. So far screen seems has been on two of them. Uh, Cardiff, Portsmouth, Sunderland. Wednesday, Portsmouth, Sunderland, Fulham. Uh, Just about finding the magic formula. You're trying you know, to find the magic. To, it's, it's, it's trying to find the magic it's, formula. It's like, you know, does it, it should should far screen be in there instead of Sunderland? Who knows? <laughs> you know, but I think this week is also good because yeah. you know I didn't get trigger happy. In terms of putting more teams in, let's stick to the travel. A one-one, got a winner. Hopefully, another one at the weekend. It's like you're trying uh, a number of different codes to open up a vault, and you've only been given you've only six numbers: one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it's just yeah. the combination of those uh, on any yeah. given weekend will will come out well. So, so best- what? 25, <laughs> 25 at at what's eight eight point five? Uh, that is what is that? Two, Thirty-eight, I think. Nineteen he's done the to two over here. Yeah, yeah. He returns two thirty eight on Wednesday. Ports and Sunderland, and then you've twenty five at five point nine two. Are they to one? Yeah, that's just the Paddy okay. Power ads, obviously. Uh, yeah, which returns one hundred seventy three quid. Yeah. Well, I hope you lose everything. Well, Brian, I'm actually not confident in Steve's bets, and I can tell you, I'm not very confident in your bets. But I'm confident in my own bets and my own ability because I'm in the green, you're in the red. Steve somehow is in the green, which is... I'm way in the green. Guy likes to throw money away for fun, you know. Um, but anyway... I have, a feeling, um, I have a feeling next week that Brian graduates the mayor of Travel City and you are moving on to the mayor of Quintuple City <laughs> or uh, something no, ridiculous because I think you will be very much in... Uh, I'm actually... I think... Uh, yeah, I think the Wednesday bet. Someone in the Wednesday bet will let me down, but I think the other one is, looks pretty good. Well, best of luck. Thank um, you, Stephen. And Thanks. we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. All right, fellas. Uh, very enjoyable part this evening, if a little bit late for my taste personally, um, but it's good to have a chat. And we will uh, see you guys next week. Well, we'll see you on Friday for the quiz. We'll see you on Friday for the quiz, and then we will see you next week for the next one. Yeah. Good luck. Peace. Bye.